Hello friends, how are you guys? Uh, if you're new here, my name is John and I'm a full-time engineer based out of the United States. On the side, I talk about it sometimes, I am a part-time photographer and videographer. I shoot some portrait, wedding, product photography, product videography, and I love it. It's my source of creativity and it allows me to express myself. I don't really do this often on this channel, but today I wanna to share with you guys about a piece of accessories that I have recently purchased that I really like. <laughs> Being both a photographer and a videographer, I need to move my cameras between mounting equipments all the time. One minute I'm shooting steels, the next minute I'm putting on a tripod for more stabilized shots. A few minutes later I'm putting on a gimbal just so I can get some good video footage. So I've been struggling in the market to find a way to quickly allow my cameras to adapt between different mounting equipments. If you're a photographer or a videographer, you know that different companies have different mounting mechanisms and having them all work together is just a pain. I've been in the market to find something that allows me to adapt my cameras to all of my mounting equipment. And recently I found this company called Ulanzi. It's a company based out of China and this system is called F38 Quick Release System. For disclosure for you guys, this video is not sponsored. I'm not being paid to make this video. I wasn't even giving the products to make the video or to try it out. I pay for these uh, out of my pocket and I just like them so much that I decided to make a video about them in case you guys are struggling to find a system for yourself. So saying that to say, unlike some of these people out there who were given the products or whatnot, I'm not being forced to say anything nice about this company. So I'm gonna share both the things that I like and some of the things that I think they could improve upon. And you guys can decide for yourself. One of the things that I really like about this plate is the size of it. It's really thin and low profile. The mounting plate itself on your camera is one of the thinnest I can find in the market. Here's an example of it compared to a plate that came with a Gorillapod mount. Here is a mount that came with my tripod, and here's the plate that came with my DJI gimbal. One of the biggest differences that I noticed between all of them is that the Falcam system is thinner profile, it's smaller, it's lighter, and it's seems to be better constructed out of aluminum. When I started doing research to find a quick release system, one of the most popular ones that all the big YouTubers recommend is the Manfrotto mount system. I personally don't have one to show you. You can go online and look at it, but it just seems to be thicker, heavier, and it has this little tongue that you have to lock in and it seems to be an extra step. So my other aspect of this that I really liked about this system is the mounting feature of it. The mount that I've been using for the last two years or so is this Manfrotto mount that came with my Gorillapod. So it's low profile, it's thin, it's lightweight, and it seems to be constructed okay. However, when you mount it, you gotta put it in to the mount. Make sure that your mount is open up all the way or it won't go in. Once it goes in, you tighten it down. At times you could be a little off here, a little off there, not to make the problem bigger than it is, so doing that takes time, you gotta tighten it down. So in between shoots, I'm sitting here tightening my stuff down. The second thing is there's no positive engagement. And what I mean by that is you tighten it down and sometimes you think you tighten it down and you didn't or you don't know. This system allows you to just, it tells you, hey, I'm secured when you hear that pop. This mounting system is pretty cool because it's also an Arca Swiss mount. It's compatible with my Gorillapod, compatible with my tripod, compatible with uh, my gimbal, and it just works. It's one thing that I could move in between all of my mounting equipments and it works. And I will show you how to mount it in just a minute. It's pretty ingenious. Just like all product videos, we're gonna do a little unboxing. If you go on Amazon and you look at their packaging, it comes in this white box that's similar to one that your AirPods would come in. It's square about three by three or four by four. I ordered mine directly from Ulanzi. They had a sale at one point, so I ordered from them. It comes in a little pillbox looking thing and you open it up 
and there's your mount. Which I kind of like because now I can use this for something else. I was afraid that it would come in something like this where a plastic bag would get scratched, but the box is pretty nice. Personally, I bought three full system and a base. Reason being, um, you need bases for everything. My tripod, my Gorillapod, and my gimbal. For the top plate, just, you just have one per camera, so I would have an extra. Um, however, I recently acquired a monopod to shoot weddings, so I will have to go out and buy some more spare parts here shortly. So let me show you how this works. This package comes with two pieces. I call this the base and I call this the camera mount. Obviously, this piece goes on your camera. These two pieces will only come together in one direction, and there is a positive engagement in how that works. So basically, that clicks tells me that, hey, I'm locked. The camera mount is a square piece, so it doesn't matter how it's mounted on your camera. However, there's this adjustable screw that allows you to kind of level out your camera, to balance your camera. The base and the camera plate will only come together in one direction. I like the single direction part because to me, I know it locks, I know it's secured, and I know that that's a stopping point, it's not going out the other way. There's also a locking feature on this that you pull the screw and turn it, then the two are locked. If you want to release this, you turn this knob back in the release position and then you're free to go. That is a really nice feature. It allows me to know that one, my camera is locked when it's locked. I'm not accidentally hitting the button. If I'm on my gimbal and messing around, I'm sh between shoot, my camera's not coming loose and I have that security. So there are a couple ways for us to mount this. To mount it on something like this Gorillapod or on something like my tripod in which I'm using right now, these are Arcar Swiss mount. Put the base plate in the middle and tighten it down. So once the base plate is secured on your monopod or your tripod, the camera just slide on. Then if you want to lock it, like I said, you can lock it and now this is not coming loose. To mount it on something like a gimbal, this is my personal gimbal of choice, DJI. And in the past, this is the gimbal plate right here and I have the base plate on top. In the past, imagine I have a camera on here. What I had to do is I had to slide it across and then hope that I hit the right spot in this direction of where that, that camera is supposed to sit and lock it down. While this is advertised that you can put it back in the same spot every time, I don't know that that's always true. When I was at a wedding once, you know, pressure, time, and then when I turned the gimbal on, it said, hey, you're not balanced. So I had to stand there and figure out how to balance my gimbal on the shoot. Now what I've done is I have mounted this base plate that came from the Falcam system onto the mount plate of the DJI system. When I'm ready to shoot, all it is is I'm ready to go. It's locked in, there's a positive engagement. I know exactly where my camera is. It doesn't need to be rebalanced all the time because there's no wiggle room in the mounting system. When I'm ready to go to another location for a different type of shoot, I'm ready to go. When I need my gimbal again, comes back to the same spot, sl slide it in, that's it. No left, right, no forward and backwards movement. There are people out there who would put that mounting plate on this handle. Right now it's a screw on handle. And so one time I was at a wedding, I used this tripod leg for an under slung mode. Well then when I came back, as the bride already walked down the aisle and I need to put this back on to use, I was struggling because I got a big camera on here, this is heavy, and I'm standing there trying to put this leg back on. The other piece of my equipment that I've recently purchased is this monopod right here. The reason I purchased this is one, I was gonna let the camera sit on here so I can take some slow tilting shots if I want at a wedding. The second part is I was gonna put my gimbal on here so at a shoot I have a sturdy base to use a gimbal and if I'm tired the gimbal could sit on the floor on top of this and I just hold it instead of holding the gimbal the whole time. The way that this mounts the gimbal is the gimbal twist on here. Again I'm back to the problem of twisting. I am going to buy another one of these systems, put the base on here, put the top plate on the gimbal so then now my gimbal could quickly go between this tripod or this monopod. It's pretty convenient, I must say. And then look at this rig up here that I have to take these top-down shots. The base plate is mounted on the ball head and the camera just slips on. And that is one reason why I like that these locks back here and it's a single direction because I know that the camera will stop. It will not keep going. And it's once it's clicked, it stops right here because of these two 
screws or these two posts. There is a big ecosystem that utilizes this kind of mount with Ulanzi. There's a backpack mount, there's a um, camera strap mount, and there's an octopus tripod that they also make. I'm not gonna comment a lot on those because I do not use those. I usually don't keep my camera on my shoulder when I'm traveling. And one of the things that people complain a lot about this plate is that it's not Peak Design compatible. Peak Design is one of these tripods that's really expensive, uh, ranges somewhere between $300 to $600, and I just can't justify the money to spend it on a Peak Design tripod. But if you guys have a different opinion, just let me know. What I wanna say is when you look on their website, they do have a Peak Design compatible plate, whatever that means. So if that's what you have, you can go check them out. So we talk a lot about the goods of this system. Um, there are a few things that I wish they would improve on. One of them is because this bottom plate right here is so thin, and maybe because there's some engineering reason of why. I like that you can slide its plates left and right or turn this, depends on the center gravity of your camera. However, if I wanna tighten this down, every time I have to go get a tool or I have to go get a penny or go find a key to tighten this down. It doesn't come loose very often because there's this, these rubber pads on the bottom, but it does come loose some. So I would love to be able to have a way to lock this down. But if I'm in the middle of the shoot, and I need to go back to my backpack to get a tool that's really not convenient. The other thing I wanna mention is one of the biggest issues that no one has yet solved with mounting plates for camera is that it spins when you're on your camera. So if you lock this down and as you're shooting, the center gravity of your camera twists, well then it comes off. And I know that Ulanzi came out with a design which they have a screw pose up front here that allows you to lock on the front of your camera. They didn't apply that design here, they applied that for their gimbal mount. So I would love to try that out and see if that really works because that would solve a lot of problems. Um, like I said, it does not come loose often, but at times when I use my big lenses, it did come loose. Again, it's the Ulanzi Falcam F38 system. I am not getting paid for making this video. This video was not sponsored. I didn't even get the gear for free. I paid for it out of my pocket. I just really liked it. I wanna do a review video. I wanna try it. If you are looking for a quick release system, I encourage you to check them out. This whole package is $29, which is the base plate and the camera plate together. They also sell them separately. I think the base plate is $19 and the camera plate is $12, which I thought was expensive at first, but as I use them, how convenient it is for me to switch from going handheld on a product shoot to on my tripod for a product shoot in just seconds. There's no fiddling around with knobs. I am comfortable that once it clicks, that positive engagement clicks in, that I'm locked in. I'm not worried about it being um, lose or coming off. So I really liked it that way. I would recommend this product just from a, it's a really cool product. If you've had this product and you've had good experience, leave a comment down below. If you've had this product and you've had bad experience, leave a comment down below. But most of all, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this review video so far since, one, since it's one of the first ones I've done. I, w I do wanna get into more tech review videos. If you're new here, I'm glad you're here. If you've been here before, thank you so much. I hope you subscribe and come back. And if there are other products you think I should try, leave a comment down below because I'm always my wife hates it, but I'm always open to trying new stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.